USB cables from China. Hi, welcome to Kenneth Spader Christmas. This week, I'm working on the pole. So as you can see, I've got a little bit uh, of this stuff taken off. So I want to get this clean. It's got quite a bit of dirt on it and it has the label on it. So to take the label off, I'm going to use some acetone. Uh, as a precaution, I will also be using gloves. And as a third precaution, I'm also going to be doing this outside because if I were to do it in here, I'd start getting pretty silly after a while because of the fumes. So don't do that if you're working on something like this. I started with a 10 foot piece of 3 inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. I cut 4 feet of it off. With 4 feet gone, I've got 6 feet left. I'll probably bury it about 1 foot, so I'll have 5 foot above ground, come out with a pole, and you can hang the P10 sign from that. Don't want to put it in concrete because I might want to put it here. I might want it over here. I might think that it looks better over here. It might be better here, or it might be good right there. So you see, I don't really have a spot picked out for it. So let me get this cleaned off tonight. I'll start on it again tomorrow. For you, it'll be like two seconds. I have this little reducer that goes from three inches to four inches, or four inches to three inches. And I'm going to put this little globe on top of it. So I'm gonna do something like this. Put the lights in the center, fix it down to where it um, sits in there, and then the globe can go on top. So the first thing is to find out how much clearance we have. If I put a piece of PVC in there, I've got a half inch schedule 40. So if you look inside from the bottom, we've got plenty of play. So this will work just fine. I can mount it in there. I've just got seven pixels tie wrapped together. It'll uh, it'll be like one having one large pixel in there. So I've got this piece just a little bit bigger. All right, so I did drill a hole here and I was gonna go in that way and put the screw into the side, but then I noticed, well, it's probably gonna come through here, so I didn't want that. So I ended up just using a big glob of uh, hot glue on both sides. It's in there pretty snug, so it'll work all right. So then we got our seven LEDs or our seven pixels tie wrapped together, and I was like, well, all right, I need a way to kind of secure it up to the top there. So I just stuck the screw down the side in there. Probably not, <laughs> not the best solution, but it'll work. And then I just put a pigtail on it. Uh, so let's do a test pattern. So I didn't, I'll just have them run a single color. This is just running a test pattern off the controller, but uh, let's see if we can see what that. So that's the that pattern. Let's go to two. So that should be all red. Let's turn the light off. So it's not horribly bright. Uh, it is blowing the camera out just a little bit and, and you can't really tell on this camera but it is a nice deep red color and so i'll probably have this flash on and off once a second i don't want it to be too crazy but uh, i think that'll work all right and then the other thing was i'll probably just silicone seal this and then once the uh the season's over with i can just remove it I have made some off-camera progress on the pole, uh, mainly because the week was a little crazy. And I didn't have a whole lot of time to work on this, so it was just I'd do something and then I'd have to go do something else. So apologies for that, but I'll get you caught up. So I have the top that has the pixels inside it um, just shoved down on the top of this. I did uh, t at least lighten this label here with acetone. Um, I thought it would come off better than that, but it's actually on there pretty good, so uh, kudos to whoever made the pipe. Um, I've got <laughs> put a whole hole through on both sides of this for the pole. So this, there's a pole that will fit in here like this, and that will, that will hold the sign up. 
and then I've got another hole here for this cable for the top pixels to go into the enclosure and then the power cable will come out of the enclosure and go into the pipe and then go down. Uh, the stripe is red duct tape. Somebody had left a comment that it should be at about a 70 degree angle. I don't know if this is 70 degrees because I don't have a protractor, but um, I just kind of tried to avoid these two holes that I had put in here. And I think it looks kind of like a candy cane. For mounting this, uh, like I said, I didn't want to put it in concrete because I don't know exactly where it's going to go. Uh, I will end up probably burying about this much of it into the ground. And then I've put these holes in here so I can shove some rebar into the ground at a slight angle. I'm hoping that will provide enough stability to hold it up. I'm going to run a test and we'll see. Um, if that doesn't work, I'll have to come up with something else. For this cross member, I just used a piece of three quarter inch plumbing pipe. Um, it comes with this coating on there. I'm assuming that's to prevent rust or to at least minimize rust. Uh, I was able to, it's kind of gross actually, and I don't know if it's paintable. So I used acetone to remove it from this pipe and uh, took it down to bare metal. And then I primed it because that's the only paint that I had. I do now have regular paint and that's the next step for this thing. So we will go paint this in a second. Uh, I have these eyelets that I'm going to put through here like this. I've got these S hooks that will fit in there like that. And then I'll hook these in like this. Then I'll clamp these down so that it'll be secure and not fall in the wind or something. This is almost the final configuration. So I've got this three foot piece of plumbing pipe. Uh, it is all the way out this way. It's about six inches down from the top. This right here, I will need to clamp these down once I get this in final position. I actually want to put another coat of paint on this so I'm not tightening everything up yet. By the way, this globe you can get from Home Depot or from your home place. It was not very expensive at all it's just a standard globe this mount is pretty good it does move a little bit but it's actually i think it'll be just fine for the display i did want to show you one thing that i did change previously i had the wires going this way and so i was thinking about coming out here but this was so far back here it was putting so much weight down here so i thought well actually this ought to be closest to the pole because having a bunch of weight down here just didn't make a whole lot of sense but since then i have moved the power supply a little closer to the center and put this old uh, 6804 controller for the pixels that are up in the globe the beagle bone is still here it still feeds the panels just like it did before and so that's the change that i made on the inside of the enclosure and now that cables are coming out this side i need to figure out which hole I want to put there. I've got some stuff that wraps around the cables that's white, so it'll, it'll hide these cables a little better. So I'm not gonna punch holes in there yet until I get that. Still have a couple of tweaks to make to this, but overall I think it's going to work out pretty good. That about wraps it up for this week. Next week, new projects. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. And all the dogs run.
have a jet flying over. There's so many cars going back.